Welcome back to D20 Tactics. On this channel I play Dungeons and Dragons with my friends, and we explore combat scenarios and play out the tactics used to defeat monsters quickly and safely, giving you more time to get back to roleplaying. I'm your host and Dungeon Master, Sarsen Zero, and today I'm joined by Blind Oracle, Azure Wolf, Longfish, and Fear No Equal. Together, we'll run through typical battles that adventurers might see playing Dungeons and Dragons. This is the second encounter in the Null Occupied Outpost, so if you miss the start, you can find a link to it in the description below. Grab your dice, draw your sword, and let's jump into combat. Next encounter is a number of Nulls, two Null Lords, two Nulls, in a somewhat confined space. And if you would be so kind, tell me about your hit points, if you have spent any abilities, remaining spells, items in hand. I currently have 10 wounds. I have spent two first level slots and a second level slot. Uh, my hand is my focus and my and empty. As much as I wanted to be here, Alistair Crowley can't be here. He was killed last time. Valiant effort by Mr. Crowley. 35 out of a possible 41 hit points with aid. Both action surge and second wind have been spent and I have my maul back in hand. Hit points, 35. Two out of four first level spell slots remaining. One out of three second level spell slots remaining. Currently have my Warhammer and my shield. 24 hit points remaining, and we have the short bow in hand. Monster abilities. So with two gnolls and two pack lords, they all have rampage. If they knock somebody down to zero hit points, then they can make a bonus action to move half speed and bite. So that's what they can do. The gnolls have spears that they can throw or stab with. They also have longbows. The gnoll pack lords have the same as last time. They have a glaive that they can hit you with. They have a bite attack that they're probably won't going to use unless, you know, they get rampagey. They have the longbows and they can incite a rampage where one gnoll that they can see can use its reaction to make a melee attack. So that's fun. Terrain. Terrain is as you might expect it to be. Some difficult terrain indoors. You got some doors. That's the only difficult terrain that's not inside of a room. That's what it looks like on the terrain layer. Tactics. What are you guys thinking? Ooh, this is a tough one. So we got a null pack lord and a null on each side, basically. So I think we take the nulls down first, but that's subject to opinions. I figure we take them down because they'll go down faster, and if we take them down, they can't be rampaged by pack lords. Pack lords can rampage each other. I still like that plan. Reduce the number of raw incoming attacks. Yeah, I agree. What weapons are these? The gnolls have spears, the pack lords have glaives, everyone has longbows. Okay, but I think that means the gnolls do not have reach, and the pack lords do. So let's get in close and take those gnolls down and clear the route to the pack lords, because if they're smart, they'll stand behind and swing. And they usually are. I think it's a solid plan. Yeah, and I think we just have to choke the east corridor and kill the two guys on the west side first, just as fast as we possibly can. I could drop hunting traps if we think those will be useful. I also still have caltrops and bell bearings. Yeah, those were nice last time. Yeah, limited mobility in here, so those could be a rather effective. It all comes down to initiative order, though. It usually does. If there's no other thoughts, let's go ahead and roll for initiative. Anybody have higher than a 20? Yes, 22. Anybody have between a 15 and a 20? 17 for the wizard. I got a 15 for the gnolls. Who's got between a 15 and a 10? 10 for the clerk. Two! Blind Oracle starts off. Sure. Okay, so we'll take the hide bonus action before doing this. 17. Very important question. Are those stairs going up or down? They're going up. And then the stairs next to them are going down? Also up. Okay, so that means there is no line of sight then from that landing to that knoll. It would depend on the height, but yes. Theoretically, if you were short enough, you could block a line of sight. Because my thought was going to be, hide bonus action, move up, shoot the knoll. But if those are stairs going up, I probably can't do that. Can I see him from the landing? From the landing? We said these were 10 feet of elevation, so I don't think you're going to be able to see that. You would be able to see it from here, though. And you would also have cover, right? You could position yourself anywhere along that inclination that you wanted to, so that you had the cover and thus the ability to hide. Then we'll take the shot at the knoll from cover. 17 to hit. 17 connects. With sneak dice. 13. Anything else for the Blind Oracle? That was a move, a shot, and a hide action. Nope, that's it. Major Wolf. Yeah, I think I might have to just not take it around this round. Go where I can duck behind the wall there on the stairs and basically call dodge. Knolls. So we're going to do this guy first. I charge there. Yeah, I was afraid of that. 12 to hit you with the spear. That will miss. Got a glaive. Got two attacks to the glaive. Eight turns into a six, so that's a miss. And a crit. He's always a crit. Well, your dice are on point. Take 14 points of piercing damage from the glaive. He's got one square, so he's going to move back there. I think this guy's going to murder you. First attack, 
Um, I'm just going to get a 18 turns into a 16. That'll hit. 10 points of slashing damage. I'm down. And then all the gnolls go berserk, yes? Is that what happens? No. The gnoll can make a bonus action to move half its speed and make a bite attack. Thank you for the reminder. He's going to use his bonus action to move and go after the dodging wizard. He's going to get a 7 to hit you. No. No shield? No, I'm good, buddy. He needs to resolve his attacks before he can do his next actions, so he doesn't have the second attack. The last guy is going to go here and ready an action to shoot anyone who appears basically in that spot. That's all of mine, Longfish. First thing first, bonus action, healing wart. 12 points of healing on the rogue. I don't want to block the fighter. Sacred flame on the node that I can see. He fails. 5 points of damage. That's me. Fear. I will move up and attack that knoll. That is an 18 to hit. 18 connects. For 9 damage. And that is all I got. After the fear is the blind oracle. Technically still prone. Yeah. It's half my move to get up, right? It is indeed. Leaving with 12 and a half. So that rounds down to 10. Disengage. Move behind the fighter. And then bonus action. Dash to behind the cleric. That's turn. After that, we go to the age roll. Okay. Man, I so want to put a spear right in the middle of those two, but I think the better move is the shocking grass and get out of this guy's range. He is wearing a chain shirt. Ooh, and that 20 is definitely going to do it. That will indeed. That is an 8. And he can't take his reaction, so I'm backing up. Let's get at least to the edge of the screen. That was the Asia Wolf. Now it's the Knolls. We'll sacrifice him, provoking. Ugh, 11. That's as far as you can go. Okay. And he'll attack you. First attack, 10 to hit you. Second attack, 10 to hit you. Well... Could have gone better. Attack the fighter. 10 to hit you. Nope. 23. That'll hit. Take 9 points of slashing damage. And then the last guy is going to go... He'll put away the longbow. After that, we go to Longfish. I am going to move... Put me in the south. And I will hit the guy behind me to my west. 16 to hit. So connect. 10 points of damage. That's me. No bonus action. After the longfish is the fear. Can I vault this and jump north? Yep. I was just going to hop down without taking damage and then go to assist the wizard. Yeah, this is a box where it will be difficult terrain, so that'll be 1-2. Does that change your mind? Yeah, because if I do that, I don't have the distance. This is a 10-foot drop, so it'll be d6 damage. Does my ring of jumping do anything for me there? It does not. All it does is triple jump distance. Yeah, I don't see any other way to cushion your fall. Yeah, so I can't get to the wizard and do anything to participate in his combat. Why can't you go one, two, three, four, five, six? Probably because I can't count. Yeah, let's do that. And we'll hit that pack lord. And you will not take an attack of opportunity because you haven't left this guy's glaive range. I have not. I'm still available to him. That is a 24 to hit. Still not quite a crit. You got it. For 11 damage. After that, we go to the turn of the blind oracle. Yeah, that's a good question. Sure, let's move behind the box. Take the hide action. I assume a 28 means I'm hidden. And then shoot the pack lord because I think that's the one I can see. A 21. 21 will connect. 15 points into the pack lord. That will be it. Here's your wolf. Oh, man. I'm trying to weigh my options here. Die or die gloriously. That pack lord's just about down. So I could magic missile if I really wanted to. Scorching Ray. I'm going to send one as the pack lord. Okay, so why Scorching Ray and not magic missile? Because I can split the damage a little bit. That's why. Because it's three instead of one. Well, it's the same thing, I guess. Magic missile, you have three missiles. You can send them wherever you want. Yeah, it's the same with this ray. I think I was just looking for more damage. I think the missile is probably the smartest move right now. Let's go two and one. The pack lord's going to take the brunt. Two under the pack lord, one under the other guy. You got it. That is three all around. Cool. What else? I'm um, SOL as it is. So yeah, let's just brace for impact. So we're going to do the easy one first. Spear to the face. Six to hit you. No. I'm going to take the attack of opportunity from the cleric. I moved it. Oh, you can't see me. When I leave, you threaten square. We did that last time. Glaive onto the wizard. 15 to hit. Yeah, I'll shield it. Okay. And then at that point, you're AC 20, so the fighter is the better target. 15 to hit. That's going to miss. Last guy, veer into the cleric. Eight to hit you. And that's all of me, Longfish. Guess I'll just keep hitting this guy in front of me. 19 to hit. 19 connects. For a total of nine damage. After the long fish is the fear. I'll step one to the west. I guess I'll go after the knoll. I think he's more injured. And that is an eight to hit. Eight is not going to make it. Anything else? No, I'm pretty much tapped out here. Blind Oracle. Hide bonus action first. That's a one, which we'll roll because of halfling luck. It's much better. That's a 24. We'll take the shot at the knoll next to the wizard. 
kill him. I've got a plan. If he can kill it. 24 to hit? Yep. 15 points. That is lethal for that particular man. After that, we go to the rest of Blind Oracle's turn. You want to move? No, I'm good with my box. Usual. Okay. I think the move is to move in, shocking graph, and pray I hit and run. I think that's the right one also. Oh, that is a 25. That'll connect. All right, that's an 8, and I'm running towards the rogue. No bonus action for you? No, I don't have anything. And no reaction, but it is now their turn. All right, we'll do the easy null first, try to fight the cleric. He's going to get a crit. That's fun. All right. Seven points of piercing. All right, this guy is going to go five foot step and flash first glaive at the wizard. 14 to hit you. No. Second glaive at the wizard. 18 to hit you. Yeah, that's going to connect. Yeah, I don't want to burn a second level slot. Take... Four points of slashing. Minimum amount of damage. All right, that's my guy's longfish. Keep beating him with my hammer. 17 to hit. 17 will connect. For a total of eight damage. That's me. Here. I want to walk around to the other side of him by vaulting that stairway. Do you think you can get out of here, wizard? Sure. Because if you can, I feel like I could just dodge here and let the rogue keep hitting him. You might need to push him. He has a glaive. Yeah, that's what I'll have to do. Then you're not dodging. Do I need for a push? Just an attack? Athletics check. Oh, that's fun. It's going to be a 16. He's going to get a 20. It was worth a shot. Anything else? No, that's all I got. Blind Oracle. So we have some choices here. I can try and take the shot from there, or I can run around from the other side and try and stab him. It would require me to take the dash action. I feel like taking the shot with advantage through cover is the better choice here. Yeah, advantage statistically gives you 3.3 on the die, and varies depending on where you are in the spectrum. On the lower end, it's way better. On the upper end, it's not as good. But you're on the lower end, right? You've got... Dice plus 6. You can do really well on that attack roll with advantage. And all the cover is, is plus 2. You're better off. Sure. Let's try the hide action first. I don't suppose a 14 is going to do it for hiding, is it? Well, if I'm a null pack lord with a passive perception of 10, it is going to do it. Wow. Not great eyes on those. Let's see if we can hit with a short bow. 22. 22 will connect. 17. As you roll. Okay. Is the play to shoot, but it'll be with disadvantage, or to disengage and move and not do an action? Wait, why would you shoot with a disadvantage? Because he's got ranged on me. No, it's only within 5 feet. It doesn't matter if you're in a threatened square or not. I thought it was a threatened square. Fire away. Fire bolt is going to hit with a 26 on a nat 20. That is a total of 16. Uh, 16. You needed a 14, so he dies. Lucky little crit right there. All right, you got movement, you got a bonus action. Let's get behind the row. <laughs> My turn. Stabby, stabby. We're going to get a 18 to hit you. That's on the nose, yeah. Hey, take six points of piercing. All right, my turn. It is indeed. 16 to hit. That will connect. For a total of five damage. Five is exactly what you needed. He drops dead. Bonk. The gnolls are defeated. So this is the short rest round. What do you guys want to do for a short rest? Just got to heal up with my hit dice. Are you going to cast any healing spells? I have two spell slots left. Unless anyone desperately need one. I mean, we've got hit dice. Yeah, let's use up that hit dice. You can spend these in order, right? Yeah, yeah. You roll it, you read it, you decide if you want more. Three hit dice. Thirteen. So we're 23 HP. I am spending hit dice. I'm going to spend two. I got 11 back. And I got three wounds left. And I'm also going to use Arcane Recovery to gain two level one slots back. Duke Allington's coming back. Spent one hit die so far. Got 10 points. I am at 32 out of 35. Spent two, recovered 23 health, but I only needed 15, so I'm at 41 of 41. You spent two and recovered 23 health. I got a nine and a ten. That's really okay. Consider my initiative rolls. I deserve that. Anything else you guys want to do before we move on to the next encounter? Cry? Yeah. Two encounters down, four more to go before the long rest. Thank you for stopping by, and I hope you'll join us next week as the adventure continues. I'm Sarson Zero, and I'll see you next time.